Howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to our Sevtech Ages Let's Play Adventure Extravaganza, where today we're going to be preparing to venture back off into the Twilight Forest, but not long term. You see, we don't really need to progress very far in the Twilight Forest to complete Age 2, and the actual ages is sort of what I've got my focus on. That's why we've completely abandoned the hashtag Swamp Life. I'm not ever interested in going back there, and Quite honestly, we don't really need to go back to the Twilight Forest right now either. It says we can get a piston from the top of Urgas Tower, or we can just make a piston if we wanted to. That's a gas. What I meant to type was piston. Uh, it just requires some pretty basic things that we've got. I mean, like siding, we know how to make that. Cobblestone we've got, iron plate. I think we even have an octine ingot left over. Yeah, so we're, we could just build a piston if we wanted to. Uh, that's an option. However, ooh, what is this? Uh, that's right, I forgot. I found this epic shader grab bag in my inventory after the last episode. And we were going to try to figure out what it did. But in a minute. Uh, we are going to go back here. We're going to give all of the wool to the quest ram. We are going to attempt to see what this is all about. I think we have to go to a labyrinth, which should be fun. So we're going to spend a little bit more time in the Twilight Forest. But I don't expect to fully complete this if we don't have to. Let's see what this does. It gave me a sponsor. A shader sponsor. What does that mean? What is this? Hold shift? Chemical tower, railgun, minecart, balloon, mining drill, revolver, plated shield. I I don't... Can be applied to... Uh, I don't know what this is. I think we got this from the Twilight Forest and I don't understand it. Everything in here is just things that I just don't know what else to do with. With the exception of... The okay, some of these things do have a place that they should go. Right. Okay. Got all of that stuff sorted back out. That was a bit of a mess. Didn't mean for that to happen in the middle of the episode and just throw everything off completely. The mystery meat, I know what that is. That's that's a little bit of me. We're gonna, we're gonna eat that. Has that already been cooked? No, we're gonna get that cooked up. Nothing better than the taste of your own flesh, am I right, guys? Haha! <laughs> okay, let's get focused. So first things first, we're gonna need a lot of wool because we are going to die. So we got two here. I think we need a minimum of eight to die, though, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I might very well be, I'm not sure. But uh, we can always go buy some wool from Magic Mud here. And let's go ahead and buy... We've got the two. So we'll get... Roll with me on this one. I think we only need one of each. So if we have nine... That'll give us one, and then eight to create another one. And then, uh, we essentially need 16 plus eight is what we need. Or maybe 15 plus eight. You'll see what I mean here in a second. Uh, oh, hello, who is this? And what have we- FOR SALE! Lucky Lou? Lucky Lou, what are you doing? I found my new calling, so I've had to put the place up for sale. Also make some ironwood armor. That was a strange shift in, in dialogue there. Purchase land today! Yeah, somebody come- what, what what do you mean purchase line? Why are you, what are you selling? Oh, can I change his sign? Ah, ha ha ha. Not for sale. Ha ha. He'll never know. He'll never he'll never know. Who are you? Su su sudicum. Su su sudicum. Sudicum. Su that sounds like a cough syrup. Hi Sue. Nice to meet you. I I think I saw you on the patron. Uh, hello Reese Crafts. I'm new in town. I'm thinking of buying this house. Isn't this wasn't this James tribute? Oh. Okay, the house has been abandoned. Right on. Should we take the stuff? Should we take the gold? Do you think anyone would notice if we do? You know what? I'm, I'm saying if, if you know James Tribio is not here and as many scary guards aren't here, so I say we just hey, you know what? If anything, we're just cleaning the place up for the new resident, right? No one wants to buy a house with all of this junk lying around. We'll just get ourselves. What even are these things? We got a golden apple. Is that all that is? That's all that is. It's just a shiny golden apple. But it, all right, well. There we go. Uh, the house is all cleaned up for you, Sue, so you can go in there and uh, uh, make a house a home, you know? You, you, go, you go do you. Okay, this is, uh, this is all a bit strange. I, I don't know where everybody went, but uh, is everyone else still in town? Yeah, it looks to be. We've still got Ian Sherman Cook over here, and uh, we've, still got, we've still got all of our mates around. Well, let's, let's go ahead and check on Juan, see what he's up to. Um, yeah, he's still here. How you doing? Still got some logs. Good. I appreciate that. You never know when you might need some wood. Oh my goodness. I keep accidentally walking off of the road, which is, uh, oh my good lord. Beep. DW Dev. 
I'm just a good guy. I don't plot. I don't have secrets. Um. Hmm. Okay. You know, I they're kind of cute. I like them. That's fine then. That's absolutely fine. Let's not ask too many questions. Oh, look at this. It looks like we do have some new visitors here. Who have we got? We got Black Eye Fat Lip who says, I wish I was eating something now. Well, Black Eye Fat Lip, you're in the right place for it because there's a lot of food here, I believe. Uh, Michael Five says, I don't have any time to eat because I need to finish my homework. A respectable task. Very respectable. The Almighty Weeb. I'm eating air too. What is it with you folks eating air? Oh man, should we go ahead and just buy something while we're here? I say let's go ahead and get ourselves a nice apple pie. A big fan of apple pie. And plus we've got all these... Go oh my gosh, how many gold nuggets did we get out of that house? Oh, we got a lot. Okay. Well, turns out stealing from missing locals is, is very beneficial. Uh, as it happens. Oh, <laughs> uh, righto. What was I doing? I think I was going to make some dyed wool. Let's go ahead and check wool. I think there's 16 different wool we need to make. We've already got one. We got a white wool. Boom. That one's completed. So we got that one out of the way. Next up, we need to make orange, magenta, light blue, yellow, lime. My goodness. So we do have to use dyes. It doesn't look like we can just use uh, lapis like I was thinking we might be able to. We do have some blue dye powder, though. Uh, I'm, I've never made a lot of these, so I don't know what's involved in them. You have to combine different colored dye pad. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm just taking everything I can find. Just, just everything I can find. And we're going to go stick it in this thing out here and see what happens. We could probably do it in the, the quartz grindstone that we made inside. But if this will do it, and it'll do it automatically, and I don't have to get involved, that would be great. Let's see if it does actually work, though. Some of these things might not work, and they might end up just clogging the system. Perhaps we should have checked that before we got down. Let's see. No? All right, something's happening. I'm not sure what it's processing at the moment. Any second now, though, we're about to find out. Boom. Oh, sweet, and that did make a die. I have a ton of different flowers that I want to test, and I'm just going to throw a chest up here so that I can just fill this thing up with all of them, and then I don't ever have to check it again. I can just come back, and uh, and hopefully it'll be finished making all the various dyes that we need. Need to keep this inventory sorted. I don't want things to get too messy. How are we doing so far? Lots of red, lots of purple. I really appreciate that. I do think that we will try to make, what was it called? Ironwood armor, as was suggested? Iron wood. Let's check that out. So the current armor we have is a six. Ironwood is a seven. It is slightly better. Oh, but it needs ironwood ingots, which, ah, uh, didn't we figure out we could make these? Yeah, gold nugget, ironwood, and either live root or liver oot. I'm going to go with liver oot. That does require that we travel back to the twilight forest, but... I'm okay doing that. Something else we could do while we wait on all these different dyes to be created is, and I've thought about this, we could build a bow, and that might be useful. We've been talking about bows for a very long time, and I haven't quite gotten around to, you know, building one. But it's been on my mind. You were always on my mind. We can build a regular bow, which seems simple enough, basic standard recipe, or we can build a composite bow. Now, what are the benefits? Well, this one has 384 durability, this one has 576 durability. There's this one that I don't understand. I don't even know if we can build it, considering there's a lot of things here that just don't make sense to me. There is a... If we were in the between lands, I suppose that would be an option. These don't have a recipe, really, so I don't know what's going on there. Same with the U-Bow. We have Baycock's Bow. Can we just use Baycock's Bow? Where is Baycock's Bow? Whatever happened to that thing? Do I still have it? I still have it. It has the same durability as a composite bow. It's probably a good one. I don't have any arrows. Ah, but do you know who might have arrows? What do you think the odds are that Mate Ryan Troll sells arrows? How fortunate! Let's buy a whole stack worth, and we'll take those with us to the Twilight Forest. I wonder if we can use them if they're inside of our backpack. Probably not. We can give it a try. Yeah, definitely not. Can we can we even bow an arrow if we have a shield equipped? Does that work? Oh, it does. Okay. I don't really want to use this right now, though. Pink and cyan, or cayenne, if you are so inclined, which we do have what we need to create here. Thank goodness. And I think we just straight up have pink dye now. So that's it, folks. We're in the end game. This is it. You're going to get to watch it right now, and you're going to see why I got all of these extra wools here, because we got to have that pink one, and then we're going to need just one more, boom, to complete the circuit. And by circuit, I mean... Wait, what are we making pink? And then what was the other one? I've already forgotten. Boom! Boom! 
We've done it! We also have a chest full of dyes now for all the good that's gonna do us. And seven leftover wool, which I'm gonna throw up here with other things that you get from dead animals. Okay, let's count through these to make sure real fast. We've, or, or we can just do a color match up here. They should be in the same order. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen! <gasps> Put those all away in here. Let's all do a dance today. We're gonna do this anyway, because we're the best they'll ever say. So my plan to go back there still stands. We're gonna go back there right now, in fact. And we're going to... Try to get ourselves what we need to make some liver oot armor. As far as I know, we've got everything we need here. We've got our armor, our weapons. I could maybe repair the black quartz all in one tool a little bit, but I'm not going to. We're going straight in. Our second trip to the Twilight Forest. Unless you count the first trip as being two trips, because we did go back once to get something. I can't remember what now. It's been literal days since we recorded the last episode, so I don't remember what's happened. But we did go back and get... A compass, maybe? Yeah, that's probably it. All right, sweet, we've made it back, and okay, well, that was a surprise. Sack Enter Security Remote Office. Naturally. Wow. Are these guards different from the normal ones? Oh, we could pay them. Oh, did I bring any gold? Do we want to bring one of these? I did bring a little bit of gold. Should we hire one out for the day? I think for one day we can hire one. Let's see here. Um, boom. You're with me now, mate. Thank you for hiring Sack Enter Security. Fantastic! Oh, I wish we had one of these in every dimension. That would be so cool. All right. Let's go find the quest ram. I think that he was... Oh, can we check the map? Will the map tell us? The map is telling me nothing of consequence. The map doesn't seem to even do anything. Do you think that I ruined the map that one time that I um, opened it up in the main world? Was that a mistake? I think it might have been. We might have to make another one of these, which I think is just Raven Feathers. So I'm not too worried about it, but I think that the quest ram was over here based on the time I got lost and had to try to find my way back. There's something on the map that I think we might be headed toward, though, that looks like a king, perhaps a lich king. Uh, wait, was the quest ram actually over here? Is that just my imagination? Oh, I should have memorized the position on the map a little bit better. This just looks like another, another naga. A different one. Where's, where's quest ram? Yes, this looks very quest ram-y. Uh, I don't see the quest ram anywhere, though. He should be right on the inside, yeah? Oh, great. I hear it! Is that it? Quest ram, what are you doing way over here? My goodness, I don't care. I've got uh, tons of stuff for you here today. I brought you a, a, a virtual cornucopia of goods. Uh, take some white and some gray. He seems to like it, okay. Take some green and some red. Take some blue and brown, and I said those in the wrong order. Some cayenne or cyan, some blue and... I don't have to say every color as we apply it, do I? I just have to make sure I apply all of them. Um, and then these should be the last two. Hey! Hey! We did it! Da-da-da-da! Can I kill it now? I shouldn't. Oh my gosh, it looks silly, doesn't it? Looks like a... An accordion ram. But what did we get for that? We got a, a crumble horn, a block of gold, and a questing ram trophy. Oh, also maybe this block of iron and block of lapis. We did it! We gave it what was missing, and that's pretty much it. Defeat a spider in a hedge maze. Do some other things. All right, let's go find some, some live root and or liver oot. Hey, that looks like some right there. Oh, up ah. Root strands. Well, that didn't do anything. So the wiki recommends going into cave systems to find live root. It says it'll stand out a bit. And, um, oh, okay. Get him! Go get him! Oh my gosh! Sack inner security at its finest right there, my friends. Worth every penny. Oh my gosh, we're underneath the monolith. Let's not go that way. That way has scary things. Whoa! I don't even fight guys anymore. I just stand back until sack inner security's Private defensive hire takes care of it for me. That that was the best term I could come up with. Private defensive hire. It makes sense. You knew what I was trying to say, right? Well, I have explored extensively in the underground, and I am now down to a single torch. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I don't think live root exists. I think it's a myth propagated by uh, certain political parties to prolong their. What is this? 
This is a gigantic tree. Oh, and there's gold over here as well. I don't know if you'll caught that. This tree seems like the sort of thing that would have living roots underneath it. Should we check? No, this tree is just barren underneath it. It's got some regular roots, but none of them are alive, unfortunately. I wonder if I can scale this darn thing. Oh my gosh, I can. Check this out. Oh, stay down. No, mate. Uh, no, hold on. This is dangerous. You don't have the proper climbing gear. Let me handle this one. Oh my goodness. Cool. Oh, you got up here. Oh, and there's a dog up here as well. Well, that's a little bit odd, isn't it? Uh, hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. This little, this route looks a little bit different. Oh my gosh. Hey, we got some. Oh my gosh. Okay, get up here and help me, mate. I need you. I need to make you some climbing gloves or something. Good grief. Okay. Wow, that was a very subtle difference. It was just a little bit of greenery with it. And I, I think I'm all out of torches now, so I don't know how to find more of this stuff, which we're gonna need. I don't think the rest of this is that, though. Oh, no, there's a little bit more right here! So that's the only luck we've had finding this stuff. And it doesn't look like there's any more here. It looks like the rest of this is all just regular old, unhelpful, uh, live, liver oot. So we have enough to make two raw ironwood materials, which can be used to make four ironwood ingots. Which, I mean, is enough to make some boots, which I think could be useful, because they do have feather falling. But we've already got the ultimate feather falling boots. So I don't know what to do with that. We're just going to have to find more if we want to do anything useful with it. But finding more... I mean, how long will we spend here trying to do that? I'm going to take this rock crystal sample so that we get another stardust from it. And hopefully, I don't know, I can just check the screen right now in a previous video if I ever need to come back here and mine up some more of this stuff. Hopefully there's enough in the overworld, though. I don't want to have to do any sort of a long-term mining operations here except for gold. So I think 15280 is the rough whereabouts of our portal. Oh my gosh, yes! I found our way back. And now we just have to remember that the quest ram was straight in that direction. Not that we're going to be going back there anytime soon, but I don't know. Okay, mate. Well, this has been a really good time. And uh, I've had a lot of fun traipsing around in the wilderness with you. Perhaps next time I come back here, you can help me fight a, uh, a horrible creature. I'm going to go ahead and tell you to just wait here, though. I don't want you following me back into the overworld and besides... If I come back here later, maybe I'll still be able to... I don't know how time moves here. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe you'll still be for hire. I'm not sure. I'm, go I'm going now. Bye. All in all, I'd say that this has been pretty productive. We didn't use the bow and arrow, but we have one now. And that's impressive in and of itself. No, okay. We have arrows now. We, we brought it with us somewhere for the first time, and that's something. And then also, we did the quest ramp thing, and I found some live root, and I'm pretty happy with the way this episode turned out, but yeah, it was a bit of a disappointment. But it took an hour and 20 minutes to record, so next time, we're gonna go in there, we're gonna fight a lich. Bye!